one. It's about half past six. I've got all this travelling stuff to get on my work already. Go to bed, unpack, get up, pack up again. Early in the morning. Now I've got to get the aeroplane. Get jet lagged up and stuff. Lived it up fairly well last night, but haven't exactly got five star breakfast. We've bought a meal in a travel lodge and now 20 feet. Pass on for a spa. That's good. <laughs> oh, well, off to America. <laughs> Speak to you later. Hi there. Sorry, this video diary is not going very well. Uh, a week's gone by since the last instalment, but just to bring you up to date, we actually had a lovely flight over to America, lots of good food, lots of great films, and then we had an excellent reception when we landed at Atlanta, um, met Candy straight away. She rocked up in her big pickup truck and we went back to their house for two days, had a marvellous time there. Looking at great big houses, going into Atlanta and seeing the Christmas lights. We had a fabulous time, and uh, thanks to David and Candy for providing uh, all that for us. Uh, we've regretted we had to leave there, really. It's quite sad to leave, and uh, now we're in Costa Rica, Evita. As you can see, now we've got a proper tropical lifestyle here a couple of days in this house, been out surfing, living halfway up a mountain really, beautiful here and uh, just about to get packed up, go down to the Ossa Peninsula, so uh, see what happens down there, hey? When we left Atlanta we met up with George at the airport and flew out to Costa Rica, but he doesn't want to be in my video diary. This is the view from our veranda and that's called the whale's tail for obvious reason down there. Well, it's a busy day on the video diary today. We've had a couple of hours drive and um, we're now at Matapalo in our new house which we're going to be at for about next week. Right by the end. Built on stilts. Looks like it's going to be a nice place to stay for us all. This is the beach at the bottom of our garden. We're here for seven days, I think. Although two of those days, we're gonna leave the house and go and sleep overnight in the jungle. Our house is called Casa Linda. It's built on stilts because it promotes airflow underneath the house to keep it cool. And also, there's so many creepy crawlies, crabs, insects, rats and things on the ground. There's all oil put around the base of the poles it's built on, so that we sleep six foot above all the wildlife. Video diary, Saturday evening, 12th of December. Nobody else will be in this video diary. Uh, Alison, wave or something. Look. Hello. <laughs> okay, we're having a pretty good time at Matapalo. Good surfing and everybody likes the wildlife and those colourful birds flapping around, dropping nuts and things, what they eat. Scarlet macaws. Uh, but tomorrow's going to be the worst day of the whole day for sure. I don't know why we're doing this. Like Alison's booked two days walking in the jungle when it's probably going to be like easily over 30 degrees and we've got to carry all our stuff and sleep in the jungle overnight where we will probably get eaten alive. So That would looking... be by the puma. That's nothing like. So I'm looking forward to giving you some footage of that. No, it's going to be crap. I, I don't know. If you come to Costa Rica, I've got three worst things for you to do. 
the worst things are. Go to a cloud forest, that's really not good. Doing this jungle walk is the worst one, but also another bad one is like if you walk up Chiripo, that's a miserable time too. But there are lots of plenty of good things to do in Costa Rica too. So this is it, beginning of our hike off to Sfino, just starting off from the ranger centre. It smells stronger, but doesn't taste really right. This is like a wood taste. We've been walking for about two hours and then we found an anteater coming out of the undergrowth. We also saw lots of different types of monkeys. <laughs> then we had a river Just crossing to deal with. We both fight against that, okay? Uh, don't yeah. run away, don't leave your family. Uh. Yeah! <laughs> there's a, oh, there's oh, a log there. Huh? Watch out, it's like clay as well. Nice, huh? mm. it's nice. Two more hours to go still. Video diary for the 15th of December. Things are picking up today. Got up early, had a good swim. Weather was good and everything, and we've recovered more or less from the jungle nightmare. Um, Stop laughing, sir. George and I went out with Kirk today and on his uh, Obi cat and caught a few fish which was really good. We've been out running, we've been out swimming, done good stuff. Sarah's toes are shrinking back to normal size so she'll be back in the game tomorrow too. Uh, the best thing was though, the bug on the fish that we caught. When we were eating our fish, this bug flew down and started eating the fish and it was glowing bright green. That is something I'll show you later. So all in all, this is why we come to Costa Rica. It's much better today. It's an awesome, luminous bug eating the fish that we just caught. How much would you pay for that in a restaurant in the UK? Flipping light show. Can't see anything now. <laughs> Can you see the flashing lights? <laughs> Turn the lights on, I'll put some more money in the meter. I'll zoom in a bit more, just for the benefit of viewers. <laughs> just for the benefit of. Look at that. Viewers. Viewers. Incredible. <laughs> it's pretty amazing. I don't reckon David Attenborough's got footage like this. Cut. We're at Hacienda Baru now. It's a really hot place here. There's a good surfing beach about two miles down the road. I think it's called Dominica or something. It's a hot place here though. 
these little bungalows aren't bad to stay in, but the main thing is it's blooming hot here. So it's a nice few days so far, we've caught a few waves. This is the bungalow that we stayed in, it's like sleeping in an oven in there. Quick bit of video diary. Here we are at uh, Palo Verde or something. We've been driving about six hours and then the last hour is just down dirt roads to get here. We've already had loads of mosquito bites and they're biting through our shirts and everything. So we've come up to the top of this mountain to overlook the wetlands for the sunset. Quick opportunity for a small bit of video diary here. Um, we've left the Green Stick Nature Reserve National Park thing, um, which didn't turn out to be as bad as I thought actually. Um, despite all the mosquitoes there, we didn't get so badly bitten, and we did actually see a lot of wildlife, a lot of birds and things, but man, it was stinking hot there. The chef was good, we had good food, and uh, that was alright really. We've got to Iberia and we've booked in at a Best Western Hotel which has got bad reviews and only cost 50 quid a room a night but actually the place is like paradise to us, there's no ants, there's some internet, it's got air conditioning, there's a swimming pool, breakfast was good and there's even a pretty decent gym so um, we've kind of got recuperated now they won't allow me to go shopping with them, I've had to sit here in the car for an hour getting boiled as normal but um, now we're going to take the back way off to Nasara and uh, hopefully after two weeks of surfing and beach life. So that's all going well. Looking forward to Christmas there. Okay. Hi, video diary for 23rd of December. Uh, just left Liberia and decided to drive the back way to Nasara, which may or may not be a mistake, we'll find out in the next hour. So George doesn't seem too happy about this, he's getting bumped around a bit, but at the moment there's been no bad river crossings or anything. I wonder why it's going so slowly. We arrived at our house in Nasara and soon met the neighbours. on your bunts, you know all about it. We had a fabulous Christmas day on the beach and waited for the sunset. I wanted to show you what most of Masara looks like and the drive to the beach.
So it's well over 30 on the beach here. Can't describe how lovely it is really. Um, thought this would be the last little shot now of the video for now. Not much will happen for you until New Year. Oh, tide's just come in and gone all over my towel as well. Tuesday evening, 29th of December. It's been the saddest day of the holidays day. News that Lemmy's died. Surf's picking up a bit now, so we're going to bed early. It's half past eight. And uh, hope to try and get up about 5am, 5.20. So we'll see what happens. Well, we all got up in time, but unfortunately, George had a surfing accident after about half an hour. George, do you want me to take you to the hospital now? Let me see your chin brain. You can't, that, there's nothing to see, there's too much blood. Give me the other side. Dad, you can't see it, there's, there's stuff in the way. Anyway, George got better and every other day he was spent surfing and walking around at wildlife spotting and being in the sunshine. Best day. Seeing two cans. The anteater's pretty good. Yeah, good. Crossing the river. Good. Last day before we go home now. To be honest with you, I'm ready for going home because going surfing three times a day and doing a five mile interval run on the beach every day. You can only take it for so long really. So I'm looking forward to the trip home and that's a good way to sort of end the holiday I reckon. Video diary, January the 6th, last day in the hotel room. But the party's not over yet. <laughs> <laughs>